Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So, today we're gonna do another body mist video. I hadn't done any body mist videos for a while and now I'm hitting you with body mist videos back to back and actually my next video will also be a body mist video so hopefully I can make up for the lack of these types of videos that I've been doing because I know you guys really enjoy these. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the most long-lasting body mist. All of these body mists are gonna be from Bath & Body Works but Victoria's Secret also has some really really nice body mints that also last for a really long time. So if you want me to do the Victoria's Secret version of this video, then just let me know in the comments. But this video is really important for me to make and I thought that I had made it, but then I was looking through my channel and I realized I hadn't. So I was like, okay, that's definitely something I need to do because I'm always getting comments from you guys that you know, longevity is a really important thing for you. And I know for body mists especially, there is a big misconception that body mists just don't last. A lot of people even have like this really weird negative sort of idea towards body mist. Yes, we obviously know that body mists don't have the same oil contents that a perfume does. And obviously I know that for the most part, a lot of body mists don't last as much because they are made up of a lot more water, but that is not the case for all body mists. And that is definitely not the case for the body mists that I'm gonna be showing you guys today. These body mists will take you through an entire day. These perform like actual perfumes. Some of these literally outperform a lot of perfumes that I have in my collection. So I feel like that definitely debunks the idea that body mists just like don't last at all. You have to find the right body mist. So for anybody that has this misconception that like don't buy body mist, like I'm too rich for that. Anyone that has this kind of attitude towards body mist, girl, you are missing out. Anyways, if you guys want to know some of the most long lasting perfumes that you could get at Bath & Body Works, then just keep watching. Before we get into this video, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn post notifications on and let's go. Okay, let me start off with the body mist that is brand new to my collection. If you guys watched the video that I just posted, which was my body mist that I'm currently loving and using the most. This was featured in there. This is brand new to my collection. I've never talked about it prior to that video But this is truly like one of the most long-lasting body sprays I have ever put on my body like this literally lasts an entire day Especially on clothes. I will go to my clothes the next day and they still smell like this body mist and that is fresh coconut and cotton I think it's something to do with the coconut in here and honestly I find that a lot of coconut notes, and I don't know if this is just me, but a lot of coconut scents tend to stick. I don't know what it is about coconut. I think it's just because it's a note that has a lot of depth to it and like creaminess. So it's a little bit of like a stronger note, but in my experience, a lot of body mists and perfumes that have coconut just tend to last. This one especially. So although it's called fresh coconut and cotton, this is more of like a clean laundry, very clean scent. And if you watch my channel and you know my scent taste, you know that that is far from the kind of scents that I like. I'm usually into like the really sweet gourmands, but there's something about this scent that gets me. Lately, I've just loved to just like smell clean. I've also been sick for like the past two weeks and I literally have, I don't even remember the last time I left my house. I have been at home like every single day. So obviously I'm not gonna go into like my high-end designer perfumes and all that to just wear on the house. But this has been like a go-to of mine every time I get out of the shower because it just makes me feel so clean and so refreshed, but also smells really good. The notes in here are coconut, coastal breeze, and beachside cotton. So because of that coconut, it has like this beachy, clean linen vibe. And then the cotton obviously gives it like that clean laundry. But what I like about it is that it is a clean and fresh scent, but it has depth to it. And I'm not just saying that in the sense that it lasts for a long time, but I just like the creamy vibe of it. I really, really love this scent, so I highly recommend this. It is a strong scent. It will project really well, and like I said, will last you an entire day. Right. The next long-lasting body spray is Midnight Amber Glow. This scent smells so good. I sprayed this scent just on my hand like a few hours ago, just in preparation for this video, and I can still smell it on me. I sprayed a bunch of scents all over me, and this is just the one that I can smell more than anything, so I think that that's just very verifies it but I already knew that I remember the first time I bought the scent I used to wear it a lot and then I want to be honest I kind of forgot about it but when I was going through my collection I saw this and I was like oh my god I have to include that for this video because this literally it not only does it perform like a perfume but it smells like a perfume it smells like a high-end designer perfume to me this smells kind of like 
a version of black opium but like even better like there's something in here that smells even more complex even more expensive and this is like I mean, it says that it's $17.50, but you could always catch these body sprays on sale for like six bucks, so never actually buy these full price. This has fragrance notes of smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. So this is one that's gonna give you a little bit more sweetness, and it's definitely, it, it is the total opposite of fresh coconut and cotton, obviously. This is more of like a sexy date night scent. It has like that perfumey rich um seductive dark scent to it it has like this boozy vibe because of the vanilla bourbon but it also has caramel latte in it and i think that coffee latte scent is like this sweet creamy vibe but it adds such a sexiness to it and then the smooth amber as well it's a really really nice scent and it will outperform even a designer scent i love layering this scent with i layer it with black opium i've layered it with la nuit tresor by lancome just like darker more date night type of scents i feel like this is a really nice scent it also layers really well with ysl libre intense those combos are like magnets for compliments for like a nice date night wear this and one of those scents and you're good to okay, go. here is a classic that i haven't talked about in a minute but i have to because this scent lasts like this scent last that is in the stars i love in the stars there's something about this scent that gives me nostalgia oh, it smells so good this literally smells more expensive than some of my most expensive perfumes there's something about this there's this like muskiness this scent has a slight i don't know if i want to say cologne vibe or a slight masculine vibe there's just something in here but to me, that just makes this so much sexier. That little masculine cologne vibe muskiness that this has, I feel like that's what makes this scent for me. This scent has starflower, sandalwood musk, sugar tangelo, white agarwood, and radiant amber. A lot of people say that this is a dupe to Baccarat Rouge. I personally don't find these two similar at all. Maybe there's like 20% similarity to Baccarat Rouge but other than that there's like they're completely different scents. Baccarat Rouge is more there's a little bit more sweetness to Baccarat Rouge and in here this one's a little bit more musky but it's a type of musk that just suits the scent so much. I, I don't know how to explain this to be honest but it's literally one of the sexiest perfumes not perfumes I keep I'm probably gonna say that about all these so don't correct me if I keep saying that. We know that it's this body spray is not perfumes, but I'm probably going to keep saying that. It's one of like the sexiest body sprays ever. I wish that I had a perfume, which I know that they make a perfume version of this at Bath & Body Works, but just for the sake of like pairing the two together and layering, this scent is already like such a long lasting scent though. So I don't know why I would even need a perfume version of this. This scent literally already performs like a perfume. So yeah, I, I don't really need a perfume version. It is just such a stunning scent. It is a compliment magnet. Okay, what I found in my experience with perfumes and body mist is that anytime patchouli tends to be in the notes of any scents really, it, most, not always, but most of the times it means that it's going to last. Something about patchouli is very long lasting and this scent is a very heavy patchouli scent. This is Little Black Party Dress. This has notes of Frosted Next to Rain, Black Peony, and White Patchouli. This isn't one of my all-time favorite scents just because the patchouli in here is a little strong for my taste. This scent is an absolute like spot on dupe to the original Jimmy Choo fragrance that looks like this. They are the same. They are like super, super similar. And that scent is also a predominantly like patchouli scent. It is a pretty creamy patchouli scent. Like it's not patchouli, like that dirty patchouli, muddy patchouli or anything like that. It's not like repulsive, but there is a lot of it in it. And for that reason is why I don't wear this scent all too often but i do like it and i do think that it smells really sexy and i mean it's called little plaque party dress so if you want to kind of put a vibe to this it definitely screams more like date night it's more of like a mysterious nighttime darker scent but it is a very long lasting scent again something about patchouli just it sticks okay, let's move on to probably i think this is yeah it's the most gourmand scent in this entire collection and Honestly, like it's one of the most gourmand scents ever, but I found that out of most of my Bath & Body Works gourmands, this is one of the most long lasting, and that is Raspberry Gem Donut. This scent is a very 
distinct scent and it may come across as polarizing at first because it literally, it smells like a raspberry jam donut and it put me off at first. Like when I first smelled this scent, I was like, that literally smells like a donut. Why would I want to smell like a donut? Like why is that something that's appealing? As much as I love gourmand scents, when I first smelled this, I was like, I don't care for it. But I can't believe that I used to think that and now I have the total opposite experience with this because yes, it smells like a warm raspberry jam filled donut. It is so true to the name, but there's something in it like the raspberry. There's something so bright and fruity and like almost like jam, like raspberry jam. Yeah, it's raspberry jam donut, but like, I don't know how to explain it. The raspberry jam is so distinct and so delicious. And then mixed in with that doughy donut sort of scent, it just, it's so, this scent is so like irresistible and so edible. It will literally make you smell edible, but it's so strong at the same time. So it'll last. Now, quick, I guess, disclaimer that I will say is with all my body sprays, whether they're stronger or lighter, I always overspray. I overspray even with my perfumes, but especially with body sprays, if you want to get any longevity out of body sprays, you're going to want to do more than just this. You got to go, you know, you got to do a significant amount. And with this one, you don't even have to do that. You could do like five sprays, which I feel like sounds like a lot, but with body sprays, it's not a lot. Like I feel like if you're a body spray wearer, five sprays is not a lot. When you wear a body spray, you just gotta like literally go head to toe, just spray down and then it'll last. This scent has notes of wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar and warm fluffy donut. And it is all of that, like the notes, the name of the fragrance, everything could not be more true to how this smells. It's a really, really nice, creamy gourmand scent with that raspberry is just like, it's irresistible. Okay, this is another classic, much like in the stars. This is Into the Night. This scent is actually pretty similar to Midnight Amber Glow in the sense that they're both like these coffee latte scents, but this one is more... It has a little bit more florals to it and it smells a little more like your traditional perfume. This one also has a perfumey vibe to it, but because this one has some florals incorpor incorporated to it, it also has patchouli, it gives off major perfume vibes. And the perfume vibe that this gives off is black opium. It's almost like a dupe to black opium. This has notes of raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha musk. So it's a little bit more complex on the notes than midnight amber glow. But as far as like projection and long lasting, they're about the same. This scent just comes across so sexy, seductive, deep, dark, it's a little creamy and it gives you all the aspects of like an actual perfume down to the notes. Like, I mean, a lot of perfumes will have ambery notes. A lot of perfumes are composed of floral notes and then a lot of perfumes also have patchouli. So I feel like even the composition of this um, body mist comes off very perfume-like and I feel like the overall and results like the scent is very perfumey. So this is a really nice scent, really, really sexy. You're gonna hear me saying that a lot for a lot of these body mints. But for me personally, sexiness is something that I look for in my perfumes and my body sprays. Like that's always like a criteria that it's gotta check off for me to buy. So if I keep being repetitive with the word sexy, that's why. This next scent was, it just came out for, I think it re-came out. It's been out for a while, but they brought it out for the fall time, 2022 fall time. This is Wicked Vanilla Woods, and I fell in love with this scent. I bought multiples of this scent. This scent is so long lasting, and it projects like a perfume. It performs like a perfume. It smells like a perfume. It actually smells like a replica scent. I think it's replica... I think it's Replica Jazz Club, if I'm not mistaken. Either that or... I don't know which other one that I'm thinking of, but I think it's Jazz Club that this one smells very similar to. It's similar to one of the Replica scents. I don't know. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments. This scent is so... It straight up is a perfume that's repackaged into a body spray. It's so complex. This has notes of magical vanilla, glowing amber wood, and enchanted pink pepper. I feel like the notes are pretty basic in this, but it smells really complex. It smells like an actual perfume that's composed of like top, middle, base notes. There is like a creaminess to it. It is obviously a vanilla scent, but it's not your 
like sweet typical vanilla scent this has like muskiness it has like this deep mysterious vibe to it that obviously makes it appropriate for a fall time scent when which is when this came out but honestly i see myself using this all year round it is more of like a creamy deeper stronger scent which is why they released it for the fall time because it has like that dark fall mysterious vibe like it has like the bats all over it but yeah honestly i would wear this all year round but as far as like the performance of it it is one of the most long lasting scents because it does come off so strong it just like it performs honestly even better than a perfume and then next up i have fairy tale so this is another one i feel like this is kind of like a common theme with these body sprays is that a lot of them actually smell like actual perfumes fairy tale is very known that it is a dupe for uh ysl libre i would say this one's a little bit more fruity than ysl libre like libre it has a little bit more going on in it it's not quite as perfumey perfumey but it's a scent that really lasts a long time it's so beautiful like i feel like fairy tale is a perfect name for it it is so like delicate and really really feminine and just pretty the notes are really nice too this is pomegranate nectar fresh orange blossom vanilla bean and warm amber so i feel like it has all the elements in a scent that i love starting off with the pomegranate nectar and the fresh orange blossom you know it has that fruitiness to it but then it also has a little bit of floralness the vanilla bean gives it a little bit of that vanilla sweet creamy vibe and then the warm amber just kind of wraps it all up and it really rounds out the fragrance so i really really like this like i said it smells similar to ysl libre so it'll literally give you a perfume like scent but with a body spray price point and it also lasts for a really long amount of time as well so i mean what more can you ask this next scent has to be like one of my favorite scents that is shocking for me to like and i i remember wanting nothing to do with this scent when it first came out because i was like i'm definitely not gonna like that scent i hate rose i don't like rose notes typically like especially when they're like rose to a heavy extent and i feel like this one was advertised to be like a heavy red rose type of scent but it is literally one of my most complimented scents that i own to date not even just body spray but like period like if i wear this scent i know for sure i'm gonna get compliments but it's one that literally performs honestly even better than my perfumes like this will last me a good eight hours even without reapplying it's actually insane what this body spray does and that is you're the one i love you're the one so much this has notes of white birch velvety rose and a drop of strawberry nectar i don't know if they're literal with that drop of strawberry nectar but in my opinion i feel like that makes all the difference in the scent obviously more than anything this smells like a rose scent it's not that like synthetic rose yes there is a maturity to it but not in a synthetic, too, too, too mature kind of way. It just smells so feminine and it smells rich. Like, it smells expensive. It smells sexy. It just gives off all the feminine vibes. Every time I've worn this, I pair it up with its lotion and I will get so many compliments on this scent. It's one of my most complimented scents out of this entire uh, roundup of body mist the white birch mixed with the velvety rose it's just it's not too much it is a lot of florals but there's something about it that's just so bearable but like in the best way i feel like bearable just makes it seem like okay i can tolerate this scent but it's it's a lot better than just bearable i don't know what the right word is exactly but then that drop of strawberry nectar i feel like just kind of uplifts the florals and adds a level of like fruitiness it kind of like lightens up the florals i guess is the best way like it makes them not as serious as you would think florals would be i think i have a perfume um like a little travel size perfume of this i have the lotion i have this and when i pair all three together i'm good for like three days they last but even if you just wear the body spray it'll last you even more than just a regular perfume right, and then the last scent that i think is really long lasting is cactus blossom There's something in here that reminds me a lot of viva la juicy especially in the dry down at first when i spray this out it comes off kind of fruity but when it dries down it literally becomes viva la juicy this has notes of cactus flower petals sun-kissed coconut and fresh sparkling lemon so this is kind of sweet it has a floral aspect it has that creamy coconut 
it's just like a very well-rounded scent and like I said, it smells a lot like Viva Juicy. It gives me vibes to Viva Juicy as well as Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. It's like if those two had a baby, it would be Cactus Blossom because Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia to me, it's like a more mature version of Viva Juicy. And this one doesn't smell as juvenile as Viva Juicy to me, but it doesn't smell as mature as Gorgeous Gardenia. So I feel like this is kind of like the perfect baby of the two. But it performs like both of those fragrances. And actually, to be honest, both of those scents don't really last that long on me. And this one does. Like I feel like this one almost outperforms both of those two. This is a great one to layer with those scents to have them just last a little bit longer because this will definitely linger on even more than those. So... What does that tell you about body sprays? That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what are your most long-lasting scents, whether it's Bath & Body Works, Victoria's Secret, or just any other body mist that you think even outperforms perfumes because let's debunk this whole idea that body mists are like not as good as perfumes because there's literally body mists that I think are 10 times better than my like $200 perfumes. So... Let's get rid of that idea. Anyways, let me know if you want the Victoria's Secret version of this video in the comments. But that is it for me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.